I'm joined by State Senator Gary Winfield, who chairs the Judiciary Committee in the Connecticut General Assembly, talking about criminal justice, where Connecticut's been the last decade or so. I want to ask you about the uh, issue that came up toward the very end of the legislative session, the issue of expungement of mm -hmm. records, the clearing of criminal records yeah. after a period of time and all after certain behaviors have been exhibited. Mm -hmm. Does that, do you think that scares a lot of people? Or, Ab it, absolutely. It does. You know it absolutely. does. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think if we're going to get there, we have to have a maybe a wholesale uh, uh, renovation of the way that we think. Um, once we started having this conversation, people were like, conceptually, I'm there, but we should exclude this, this crime, we should exclude that crime. And at the end of the day, I had this conversation with people. I was like, so what crimes are we including? Right? right. Um, and what we really are talking about is not just expungement of a criminal record, but how do we see these people once they've come out and they've paid their time? Do they get to pay their time and not have that crime hang over their head, or are they forever damaged You're saying by it's that? a question of whether when they, when they end their sentence, mm -hmm. do they actually end their sentence? Right. I don't believe they get to in our society. I believe that forever, somewhere, there's a scarlet F or a scarlet yeah. whatever, whatever it is uh, that's, that's a part of you. You have it on the, the uh, applications you do for housing. You have it on applications you do for jobs. People know about it, public record, and you are forever damaged by that. That. Is there, do you think that ex-felons, mm -hmm. people who've been released from our system, do you think that they are by and large considered second class citizens? Absolutely. I mean, that might be being generous, actually. Yeah. Uh, I, I might even say they're a third tier citizen. So um, I think that we as a society, not the, the, the people that we're talking about having committed these crimes, but we as a society need to ask ourselves questions. And the question really is, do, can we now see these people as human beings who made a mistake but are that should be able to move forward? You, you, you mentioned in our earlier segment on the show about redlining, about a lot of these legacy policies that are still in place that at the end of the day is, is a level of systemic racism in sure. spots. How do you convince the places where there is some of that redlining, they, they may not want to admit it, that's, that's what it is, that when you expunge a record, you're not just doing it willy-nilly. How do you make that argument in your Wiltons and your Westports and your Greenwiches compared to making that argument in your Hartfords and your New Havens and your Danburys? Well, let, let me start off by saying I'm not sure it's easy to make that argument anywhere. Yeah. Um, you may have more people who've been in a system in certain places, sure. but I'm not sure it's easy to make that argument because everybody is concerned about their safety. Um, having said that, we make our society less safe when I can't get a job, when I can't live somewhere, right? Because what I am left to do are things that are outside of the normal system. And so we have to begin to talk to people about what it really means to have the system set up as we have it set up. Setting up the system as we have it set up is the problem. And so this is a solution. It's not the solution we imagined we were looking sure. for, but it is a solution. State Senator Gary Winfield, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Face the Facts with Max Reese is every Sunday at 10 a.m. on NBC Connecticut. Thanks for checking out Face the Facts with Max Reese on YouTube. If you want more politics in your feed, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be notified whenever there's a new video.